In this video we're going to consider skew and various different things that we can do to um, look at the skew of, of different distributions. So here we are told in the first question that um, the values of the quartiles and use this to comment on skewness of the data. Now one way we can look at um, how skewed the data is is well what's the difference between the first quartile and the second quartile and how does that compare to the second quartile and the third quartile so I'm going to do uh, Q2 minus Q1 so that's going to be 20, uh, sorry, 40 minus 23 which is 17 and I'm going to do Q3 minus Q2 so 50 minus 40 is 10 so we can see that there is a difference here and uh, we can see that the um, the distance between the median and the upper quartile is a lot smaller than it is between the first quartile and the second quartile so I can conclude here that uh, Q2 minus Q1 is greater than Q3 minus Q2 and that indicates that we have um, a negative skew And we can also use um, the shapes of graphs to tell us something about skew. So if we consider, first of all, we've got here the outlines of two histograms. So what does this tell us about skew? Well, we can see uh, in this first one um, that the, the data is all sort of bunched up at the first end. Uh, and we would describe this as having positive skew. And this one here, which is all bunched up at the other end, um, we can refer to that as being as having negative skew. And we can also comment on these two uh, box plots. So much the same kind of idea as um, here with the uh, the histograms so that we can say that uh, this first one is, is positively skewed and this second one here um, is negatively skewed and if we look at why that is we can see well actually the distance between the first quartile and the second quartile is a lot smaller than it is between the median and the uh, last quartile and whereas in this one between um, the first quartile and the median we've got quite a, a large um, gap or quite a large range compared to the second quartile and the third quartile so that ties in with the calculation we had above there are various other methods of skew um, that you can use but you should recognize the the shapes and be able to comment on the skew that way um, it could also be that you have um, a symmetrical uh, graph to look at um, and, and often that will be tied in with questions on the normal distribution which is a, um, a topic we'll cover in a later video. Um, you may also have other calculations to skew and uh, that's something that you will have to work out uh, as it comes up but it will be presented to you.